Hi, boys and girls. I hope you watched the spooky tale of pre Whip Peacock again for our next activity. How much did you love this book? So much, right? Okay, so you should have this page. It's attached into Schoology. If you can't print it, then you can just write it out on notebook paper. That's fine. I know some of you might not have printers. So we are going to do the first two together today, and you are going to do the bottom two independently or with a little bit of help from mom or dad. Then you are going to choose one of these and write it on your discussion post. So let's look at our paper. So if you have to write it out, you're probably gonna need to pause it right now. Otherwise, if you already have it ready, you should have your pencil ready to go. And let's review, we've been talking a lot about cause and effect. I know you're getting really good at it. So remember the cause is the, the why, why something happens. The cause happens first. I know you remember that. Happens first. So you might wanna write that on your paper too. And the effect happens second and the effect is the result. What happens? It's the result. Ooh. Okay. So number one, our first one, we have the result. We have um, the effect. Prewitt's tale was a sad tale. And we need to know why it was a sad tale. What happened first to make it a sad tale? Why was his tale a sad tale? Do you remember? I'll give you some think time. Okay, that's at the beginning of the story. That's right, it's a sad tale. Why was it a sad tale? Because it only had his tail, only had, remember how many eye spots? Two. And it was, remember that word that I explained? It was scraggly. That means it didn't have a lot of feathers. It was scraggly. Okay. So his tail only had two eye spots and it was scraggly. And the result, the effect is that it was a sad tail. Okay, I'll give you just a second to catch up. Again, I write faster than you probably. Okay, so let's read the second one. Now we have the cause, now we have the why. This happened before that happened. Phineas had the most fanciful tail with more beautiful eye spots than the others. Let's think about it. Phineas had the most fanciful tail with more beautiful eye spots than the others. What is the result of him having the prettiest tail? What is the effect? He has the most beautiful eye spots. And what happened after that? They asked him to be, so of course he became what? Their leader. Because they looked up to him because he had the most beautiful tail. He became their leader. because they looked up to him, period. All right, what happened first? Phineas had the most fanciful tail, and the result is he became their leader. They looked up to him. Okay, after you finish writing that, you are going to, now you have two effects. Usually we have one of each, but this one you only, you have two effects, okay? You're going to fill out the causes. Again, on this or a sheet of notebook paper, you're gonna fill out the whys and always keep thinking what I say over and over, what happened first? Something happened here before that happened, okay? This is the result, this is the effect, okay? So you can go back and rewatch the video if you need to. You're going to fill these out, okay? And then you're gonna choose one of them 
Not the ones we did together, no, that's too easy. You're gonna choose one of them and you're going to put it on your Schoology post. Write the whole thing, the cause and the effect. So you're gonna be typing in two sentences, okay? You're either gonna type in this whole line or this whole line, okay? It's two sentences, so two periods and two capital letters, or maybe more capital letters because of their names, all right? So either that whole line is going into Schoology or that whole line is going into Schoology. Whichever one you want is fine, okay? All right, I'm so glad you enjoyed the book. I just love this book. See you later.